Pteranodon Soars by Don Bentley, illustrated by Karen Carr, narrated by Al Gates. Read to me. Read it myself. Autoplay. Okay, so we're going to have a look at an app called Pteranodon Soars by Ocean House Media, and this is another one uh, in the uh, Smithsonian Institutional Series. A um, couple of things on the bottom here, you can have a look at uh, apps by Ocean House Media and it'll pull up a selection for you to look at. You can also look at the bookshelf which I highly recommend you download, it keeps all of your apps in order in one place. And then you can also look at information um, about Ocean House Media and the company and uh, get news and also connect to them and, and so on from there. So. Let's have a look at the options we've got. Read to me, read it myself, and autoplay. Now, if you leave it on autoplay, basically you just sit back and enjoy the app. Um, it will turn the pages for you and just read the story and show you the pictures as you go along. To exit autoplay, you press the home button to get out of the app completely. The other two options are read it myself and read to me. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into read to me, and then I'll go from that within the app to read it myself, show you how that works. A pteranodon shuffles toward the edge of a cliff. She hears the sound of waves crashing against the rocks below. So the narration on this is very good. It's always very clear. Uh, you can touch anywhere on the screen. Wing. Dinosaur. Water. And you can touch uh, the words or the letters. Shuffles. And if you double tap. Uh, a pteranodon shuffles toward the edge of a cliff. She hears the sound of waves crashing against the rocks below. And then you just simply swipe to turn the page or go to the next scene. She spreads her 20 foot long wings and jumps off the cliff and rises into the clear blue sky. She may not be very agile on land, but she is extremely graceful in the air. At any time, you can pull up the menu on the bottom and you can look at pages and you can scroll through any of the pages to get to any scene you like. What I'll do is I'll show you a couple more scenes before we go into the settings. As Pteranodon glides over the surface of the water, she sees a school of fish. She dips her spear-like beak into the water and grabs several fish. Fish, Pteranodon. You can touch the fish. Words on the screen if you're Pteranodon. not sure on how to pronounce them or Glide. read them, which is always a great way to learn to read. She does not have teeth, so she swallows the fish whole. Just as Pteranodon is about to pluck another fish from the water, she sees a huge mosasaur. Pteranodon is startled. Mosasaurs are her enemy. Mosasaur. She flaps her wings quickly and moves higher into the sky. With a splash, the Mosasaur opens its huge jaws, but it cannot reach Pteranodon. Okay, so I'm going to let you explore the rest of that story. One of the settings you can do here is if you go into options, you can turn Read to Me off, and then when you go back into the app and you swipe the page, the narration will be off. So you can basically just read it to yourself and turn the pages as you like. If you double tap the paragraph, from the safety of the sky, It'll start reading Pteranodon keeps an eye on the Mosasaur. Pteranodon is a strong flyer. She can stay in the air for a long time and fly long distances. So the great thing about that is if you can, you can use it for reinforcement uh, and you can also use it if you're not sure on you know, the words and distances. how they're announced and so on Mosasaur. throughout the app. Let's go back into here and show you another option. If you click on voice, you can actually make the entire app in your voice or your child's voice or possibly your teacher's voice. You simply click Record on new, new voice. narrator. Enter a name below. We'll Save. Enter dad. And then whatever page you're on and you swipe between the pages using backwards and forwards, you simply um, press record and then you can record that passage and save it so the voice is in your, your voice, your teacher's voice or whoever's voice it may be. When you go back out from there, if you look at the voice options here, you can have in the dad and it'll, the whole story will be in there. You can also email that uh, or you can put it back on the narrator and then it will be back in the original version. And you can create as many versions as you like, which is really cool, especially if you have lots of kids. So it's a great app. Another one from uh, Ocean House Media and it's called Pteranodon Source. 
check it out.